going on guys it's your girl razor in the brrrr d -d ding and welcome back to another video if you're new hey boo and if you're returning what's up what's up what's up in today's video yes 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 we have a twist out lately i've been really into twist outs i had a season where i was really into braid outs but no for some reason twist outs are in for me right now i really love this cream of nature called activator it's almost done for my twist out so in this video i'm going to show you guys how i use it and how i do my twist outs how i part my hair and give you guys some tips and maybe if you've been having issues getting bomb twist outs maybe this video will help you because i was once there so hopefully this turns out good because i'm about to take them down so we're going to see now before we get to that point though let's see how we got to here next clip i started off with a freshly washed hair hair was shampooed and deep conditioned and i applied the product that i mentioned in the beginning that was the only product that i had in my hair so no leave-in no hair milk nothing just a curl activator so my hair already has in the product that I'll be reapplying if needed be. I'm just going to start sectioning off my hair. My parts don't have to be perfect since, I mean sis, we're going to unravel them for the style. When I do twist outs on my hair, if I want it to be full and defined at the same time, I have to do my twist medium sized. So I came to that conclusion from my hair texture when it comes to twist outs. And another conclusion that I came to to get my best twist outs. So the less products I used on my hair for my twist outs, the better my twist out will turn out. So my hair already has in some of the products. So I'm just going to respritz my hair with water. I don't think I need to reapply any more products. So now I'm going to detangle from my ends, going up to the roots, you know. <laughs> So I don't need to use many products, so one product or two products, one product works best and then I don't need to apply a whole lot of that product on my hair. So I just brushed out that section and now I'm going to twist. So I just have to twist my hair tightly together and make sure that my hair is smooth. If I just finger detangle and twist, no, that's not really going to work out for me. I just did a little two step brush to clear out any shed hairs or you know just made it a little smoother brush again while I get down to the ends and we're just gonna keep twisting girl just twist all the way down all the way down all the way down we're almost there almost there <laughs> 12 the ends that's it so where is that section that I just put away <laughs> Applying the product on my hair beforehand really helps out a lot for me because the product already soaked into my hair You know, I don't have to apply it and work it in and wait for it to do its thing It's already been sitting on my hair for a while So all I really have to do is detangle and twist and I twist straight from the roots I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a bring it closer for you girl it's just gonna focus on this beautiful face but i hope you see the twist okay so we're just gonna twist tightly all the way down there you go girl <laughs> So obviously the less products I use, the faster my hair dries. And that used to be an issue for me. My twist out used to take days to dry. I mean, now it really just takes long because of the length of my hair. And I do my hair late <laughs> most times, like in the evening or, well, late afternoon. So that's on me. <laughs> and yeah, we're still twisting. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. And I try not to borrow, but girl, it happens. And when it does, I mean, it's whatever. I just keep that in mind when I'm unraveling to just not rip the twist apart. I'm refraining from doing a middle part all the way down to the back. I'm going to break the back into three subsections and then break those subsections down into two. So that's how big my twists are. Just to give you an idea. <coughs> Baby, come back. Break this into two trying to get it as even as possible i just don't want a lot of hair in one section versus the other because then is when <coughs> then is when i'll really have to be borrowing okay the back is done now i'm going to tackle the sides this is how i part the sides now so it's hair coming from the middle towards the front so i can get about three twists from this side section
sides are done. I like to work with my hair this way because I know as I go towards the crown of my head, it's a different texture. So I can manipulate that texture how it likes to be manipulated. I like side parts on me. I like for my hair to fall this way so I can break this into three as well. And we are done. It didn't take me that long at all, actually, since I just had to twist instead of constantly reapplying product. Juicy! Yes, twist. Show them the little bonks twist. Bonks for them. Bonks, baby, bonks. Yeah. So my hair looks really moisturized and shiny and hydrated. We love to see it. I think by now we're tired of hearing that phrase, but yes. We love to see it. This is this side. Let me show you a little side action from the back. Show them a little swing. Yeah! So I'm actually not going to go to bed with wet hair. I don't like doing that anymore, especially for my twist outs because I'm just going to flatten it out and it, 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 it just wouldn't turn out right. We have to at least go to bed with dry hair or close to dry. The roots at least have to be dry yeah let's say at least 65 percent dry yeah around that percentage to get bomb twist out results we see some stragglers i'm going to go under the hooded dryer to help my hair dry a little bit because as i said we're not going to bed with wet hair so see you soon girl in like one second the next day in the afternoon my hair was dry and i was happy for that so to stretch my hair i put my hair up in a high ponytail and i wrapped some hair ties i used two around my hair as i got towards the end because when i do twist outs i do get a lot of shrinkage and what i didn't include in this clip i think you guys should notice by now like the second day or so i will apply gel on my ends a strong holding gel on my ends and twirl my ends around my fingers just so that my ends will stay put and especially when i unravel i'll have defined ends so try that if you have problems with your ends staying defined and looking frizzy yes this has helped me a lot so i use the wet line extreme gel in case you're wondering okay now time to twist them out <laughs> we already prayed to the gods did we father god please let this turn out right you know be on our side well you're always on my side really be on my side today 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 please First thing first, to really focus on each twist, I like to put my hair up and then take them down so I can separate. That way, instead of taking all my hair down and separating, sometimes you may forget a twist or I probably won't separate as much as I could have because all the twists are all down at the same time. So I like to put it up and then take them down separately. So this is the first one. Okay, let's just keep on twisting and separating at the same time. I separate at least one. Since my twists were medium sized, I'm going to get a lot more volume so I don't need to separate a whole three, four times, especially for my texture as well. Looking good so far. Yes, ma'am. This looks really good. So I'm gonna take down the rest and then stop talking now so we can just really see what's going on. <laughs> done oh my gosh this looks so good we have definition we have volume we have moisture we have the big hair we have the fluffiness we have the shine so i just gelled up my edges nothing major i didn't even fluff out my hair with my pick or anything like that to get it bigger i mean that's because i can't find my hair pick most times i would fluff it out but to be honest it doesn't really make a difference especially with my hair you just have to know your hair and what works for your hair when it comes to doing different natural hairstyles because it's different for everyone let me know if you guys like it and have you tried the curl activator before to do your hairstyles let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video see you guys in the next one bye, bye.